Wait, I do have creep fine seeds? I didn't forget? Oh, okay. I got worried. I was like, I don't remember seeing lube in here. Okay, we've we've got creep fine. We good. We good. Panic panic time is over. How could I forget the lube? I didn't forget the lube. I there was there was a point of legitimate worry. Okay, so let's do jelly shrooms and brain coral on that one. And you are going to have creep fine seed clusters, blood oil, and regular creep vines. I actually don't have a means of getting in here now that I'm looking at it. I didn't actually stick a door on. Alright. Well, I guess I'll just put it right here. Let's see, can I cheat Lubin in an emergency? Oh, absolutely. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Alright, let's uh get the rest of the grow beds planted. I think I'm gonna use the entry area for growing. Uh probably in the corners. You know, like right here. And then we'll see what else I have space for. I guess I could- I only need, like, a handful of these. Okay. Uh, oh, I really probably shouldn't plant marble melons in those. Really also scan these these weird creatures. Let's see, you need power. Yeah, I was gonna work on that in a bit. I just wanted to make sure putting my entire thing together wouldn't cost me precious resource Ah, precious resources that I am gonna have to go way out of my way for. Okay, so we've got plenty of things. I was worried that I was gonna run out of uh, titanium, but there is there's no chance of that. Okay. And it doesn't look like I'm running into structural stability problems uh, due to the due to the depth. At least not yet. I really like that tree. Me too. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have some windows uh, along these sides just to look at it as we go by. Holy crap! There are a lot of resources around me. Well, I can't wait to start scanning for them. Yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the reactor back here. Let's see, you do have to drill them though. Uh, well, I can actually drill them with a seamoth, due to however how I've set everything up. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we want to get a couple of chick plant pots. I'll get two. I'll have to get uh, a lantern tree in here. Because, yeah, this is probably going to be my long-lasting base. I'm not going to put anything in the lava zone. Because the lava zone, well, cool, has, um, horrors that I don't want to deal with. Okay, so we want to put in last brain coral sample and a blue palm seed. Which is probably for the best, because I actually only have one, looks like. Alright, I'm gonna put in the jelly shroom. So I actually still have a fair amount of farm space here. Let's see, I'm running into structural problems. Not to worry! My dear Zazelbath, all I have to do is just reinforce a thing somewhere right here. There we go. Yeah, we were fine. I only really needed it, uh, a little bit more for that anyway. I wonder, can I... 
Okay, so I can actually go down, too. So that's... Something I could work on, if desired. I can't have this coming off to the side? That's unfortunate. It is tempting to put an observatory out here. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have an observatory here. I... Need titanium? What the... What the what? I run out of titanium, dudes! When does that happen? Always! Oh. I should probably cancel that. Uh oh. Oh, I know what I can do. Yoink! I need. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, good. That's one of the. That's one of the one. Wow. Really? Already? Oh, dang. Oh, that should be enough. Is it time for alchemy? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's let's go eat some melons. I do have a lot of water just lying around. Vital signs stabilizing. But whatever. Okay. And let's grab a bunch of lantern fruit. Cuz I'm pretty much going to power this entire base off of lantern fruit. At least initially. Wanda, you must hydrate. I have hydrated? I actually haven't today. I should. I filled up the whole water bottle being like, yeah, you know, I'll drink. The problem is with Subnautica, it doesn't make me feel thirsty, which is a problem. Alright. Generators up. That should keep this place going for a very long time. Power restored. Uh, let's see. So next order of business. Not that. I will need some storage. Honestly, I'll probably put storage in the reactor room again. However, what we could use is a singular fabricator. Please tell me I can build it. Oh. Not actually a problem. I have a fabricator in here. Okay. So we don't have any of that, but we do have some metallic alchemy. Alright, so that'll get us some more. So we're gonna need some creep vine samples. If I'm going to want to make... I should probably make sure I don't run out of power on this thing. How much do we have left? 41. I think that's fine. Let's just max out the titanium. Because, yeah, realistically, I just need a creep vine seed cluster and brain coral sample and make the table coral. And... Yeah, Okay, we're... we should be golden. And so would you recommend this game, by the way? Absolutely! Subnautica is probably the best, uh... I'm gonna say open-world survival, but it's not really an open-world survival game. Uh... But it is probably the best one I've ever played. For very good reason. Okay. We don't have any magnetite, so... 
Probably just gonna do wall lockers. At least initially. Closed world survival. I'm not even sure what a closed world survival game would be. Survival horror, maybe? Okay, so we've got loads of copper, some enamel glass, which we technically didn't need. Whatever. And uh, let's see, is the. Okay, we do have the race car. I'm not going to question it if you guys don't. Do I have materials in my sea moth storage? That's an interesting question. I actually don't know. Oh, hey, it's done. No, it's not done yet. We're almost there. We're real close. Those, those grow beds grow fast. And then, yeah, more or less, I'm just going to harvest the, the bejesus out of the lot of them. So we've got... It really is just a giant cove tree. I guess I should start scanning things out here. I really do wish you, like, found out about technologies... ...by... ...scanning various things. You know, not just finding data boxes, but, like, you honestly invent some, like, crazy nonsense here and there. Just by finding a thing. You're a Nightcrow. Ooh, this would have been a good... This is probably a decent place to have a nuclear reactor going. But yeah, it looks like there's loads of resources around here. This really probably is supposed to be a... Uh, a uh, kind of safe haven bef before finishing off the uh, the remaining couple of like alien bases, maybe. I'm not sure. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Okay, so at this point, we are actually starting to get... Oh, that's bad. And we put the gloves back on so we don't have to see that. That's... that's good. I wish there was an actual set of experiments you could complete with lab equipment. For example, shown interaction with infected creatures and the enzyme peeper. Yeah! That actually would be really neat, like as a... As a, like, doing proper science thing uh, in this game. As opposed to just letting alien stuff do it for you. Okay, so we're looking for flora. We're looking for C? Giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove, and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches on the surface. Two, ghost leviathan eggs. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Ah. Ah. Okay, so what can we scan for while we're here? Because the answer seems to be a significant amount. Ah, dang. We actually might have to put together a scan base in the, uh... In the... Lava area just to, just to get a decent... Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually even that important to get a scan base down. Now that I know that I have this map system that actually functions... It certainly makes my life a little bit easier. We're almost there. Now let's go take a look at this.
Oh. Okay, so... Not really... Uh, that horrific to behold, which is good. Let's see. Get range upgrades. Yeah, that's the goal. I Unfortunately... Bleh. Unfortunately, we need magnetite. We need all of these trees and, and plants, effectively, to grow, and that's going to be a problem. Also, welcome, Moose and Joe, and Associated Raiders. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, what were you guys up to tonight? I, I didn't get the chance to check out because uh, Subnautica has consumed my life. Oh, no, Nightbot. No, don't. Don't destroy the Raiders. They're nice people. From a nice channel. Shout out to them. Let's see. See if the tree gives you anything if you knife it. No, I'm not going to knife the tree. The knife... The, the, the tree is nice. It's a nice tree, not a knife tree. Let's see, this place has magnetite. You're right, it does. Well, let's scan for some magnetite, seeing as we have a boatload of power. You've been playing Subnautica lately, too. Unfortunately, you're on PS4 and it erased last two hours of your progress. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh no! I... Ow! Ow! I don't have anything else to say apart from, like, my sympathies and... Ow! I like playing games on PC. It's not... Stabler! Uh, I've had this game crash on me a couple of times at this point. Actually, I should probably grab this. Uh, what the PC does have, though, is mods. I have Haxi... Uh, resource growing abilities, and it is so nice. Though obviously this place is covered in goodies. So I don't really need to do it, but it does certainly make uh, expanding and finding new things. I should check that out. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot deep underwater. I should stop trusting console ports of big PC games. It's more console ports ports of indie games made by relatively small studios. That's that's where it gets risky. Uh, as 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 much as I love the studio that made these games, Uranite Crystals and some Quartz. Wow, yeah, they really do have just kind of a small load of everything. Um, as much as I love these guys and the games they've made over the years. They've never been the greatest about stability. This is this does fairly well. Uh, but maybe that's just because my standards have been skewed by Ark. Oh hey. I'll just hang right there, weird fish thing. Bonk. I really wish you could like ride one. Does it freak anybody else out that you can see those things' organs? Because it freaks me right out. I do not like. I mean they're cute. They're honestly adorable. For creepy underwater. Uh, well, uh, they have membranous, yeah, membranous, uh, manta ray creatures, but like, ah. Uh. Imagine if you had transparent skin and muscle. Ugh. God, our human, humans would die out real quick. I don't think we'd be able to romance that well like that. Ugh. We have to wait a long time to grab some things. Uh, do I do the really dumb, risky, stupid thing? We could. Oh, you know what? Is that enough for scanner room range upgrades? Because honestly, I can make more copper. I think being able to watch someone's heartbeat is probably a turn on. I've seen that. It's not. It's it's not. At a uh. Oh shoot! What was it? Oh hey. It still really doesn't give us much of the ravine. Oh. Or is it filling out? It's not filling out as much as I want. We'll have to get another. Hmm. I'll still want to hold on to this base. Do we do risky things? 
And what's the what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'll I'll lose my uh I guess the worst that's going to happen is I, I could lose my Seamoth. Which could and would and... It would suck. I would not appreciate that. Okay. Let's, let's go do dumb things while we wait for stuff to grow. Because what else... Are we going to do? Oh. Oh... Never mind. Okay. So this creep vine needs to be harvested for all it's worth. I need the resources. Okay, so we can start grabbing the very small amount of resources from both of these. Which is good, because I'm going to need them. Because I want to make... I want to make a fabricator in here. In retrospect, I'm probably going to make the fabricator right, just right here. It's not very large. Okay, nope. We still need the table coral sample. Dang, 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 dang bit. Oh, right, we need brain coral. Well, that's fine. Alright, we're good. So now that I've got that... I've gotta stop doing this. Ah! Locker. It's just at perfect eye height. I'm gonna drop these off. The extra copper ore and gold. Gel sack, table coral. Okay. So the other thing I wanted to do before we do dumb things... Is I would like to do... Kind of some... I want to do some exploration. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. I I wish there was more like science that you could do in the game. For example, uh, it would actually be really cool for me if you could actually... Uh... Oh, we can actually do it. It would be really cool for me if you could actually uh, effectively develop the technology that would let you uh, translate that, for example. Okay, so we just need acid mushrooms. Like, that would be really cool. What did, that, what did that mean? What did any of that mean? I don't know. But, like, it would be cool if you could actually translate some of that stuff. Alright, so I got a knife up. How many of these give? I guess in retrospect, I probably should have... Kept some of the seeds. Oh well. Same thing with like... Because this main character that we play as, we're a janitor. I mean, we're a pretty intense janitor, all things considered. Um, but like, it would be really cool if you could actually like... You know, you might not be smart enough or capable enough... To... Do all the science yourself, but... You clearly have fabricators that could make the make the machines. Like, how rad would it be if you actually had to, like, effectively, uh, build all the machines for you to do it, because obviously you don't, you don't have the capacity. And they would do the analysis, they'd, they'd, you know, you build computers to process the messages and so on and so forth. That sort of thing would actually be really, really neat. Reactor rods. Not immediately helpful for what we're doing. Anyway, so four extra batteries just in case we need to do stuff. Uh, let's get back on the Cyclops. So, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm, oh. Maybe we should actually leave this for tomorrow. It is getting pretty late. I want to do, I want to do a little bit of super space exploration something. Oh, balls. Okay. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. 
I'm gonna pilot thing this thing closer. I don't know if it'll charge. Based on proximity. I certainly hope it does. Is there some other way to charge this? Oh, wait, no. I know exactly how to charge this thing. I do miss the days of being able to just charge... a, uh... a Cyclops just by... Not existing, but you can charge a Cyclops by, uh, by just having it charge itself. Which, honestly, yeah, it didn't make any sense, but it was cool. Okay, so we want to get... these. That is very large. use them in here. Advanced wiring kit, ruby, titanium. Yeah, so... That sucks. Well. I'm gonna wreck this blue palm first. Load those over. Okay, so it looks like the uh, brain coral will fix itself slowly. Yeah. yeah, it would be nice if you could just hook it up to the power grid with, like, just a basic power cable or a bunch of different tricks, honestly. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just grab a bunch of resources uh, from the gardens and then move them in. I don't think you need deep shroom seeds for anything. I think it's all deep shrooms themselves. It means I actually kind of need more. Oops. Nope, don't go after the growing ones. Then again, I think I need acid mushrooms more. Honestly, let's just plant the gel sacks. Whoops. I ate the gel sacks. Ooh, Wasn't supposed to do that. That was a mistake. Yeah, I ate them. Oh, that was... That was sufficiently stupid. I don't think I've done... Ah, nope, 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 nope. There we go. That was... That was dumb. I forgot that you could eat those. Honestly. It just... It's, it's, why would you eat them? It was gross. Well, I guess desperation is a... Is a thing. Alright, let's... Make some more. I'd like to make the auto sort recept. You know, we could actually just start making auto sort receptacles. We have the magnetite for it. Please fit. Oh, my feng shui. Uh, whatever. Okay, so let's just dump all of these off. So all we need to do left is maybe get some lube? Ish. Alright, we wanted to make power cell charger. We still need an advanced wiring kit. What do I need for that? Oh. Oh. What am I missing for this? Wiring kit, gold. So we need table copper, or table coral, copper wire. What do we need for copper right now? 
we find seed clusters. I think I only had enough for what I needed last time. And not anymore, and those are growing. Well, hopefully I have enough. I mean, truly, I'm just trying to get a lot of these resources out of the way. I'm not even going to be doing anything right now. Oh, we had enough. Cool. Uh, let's see. So these are the power cells. And honestly, I will need more than that. I'll probably get two power cell chargers just to make this easier on myself. But for now, it's fine. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is just build... an auto-sorter. So I don't have to go all the way back. It'd be nice if there was a requester thing that I could use as well, but eh, oh well. Okay, so we've got some spare batteries. We've got largely everything we could possibly need. I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna go here. And then let's take the Seamoth out. I'm gonna go take a, uh, I, I have to take a, uh, short bathroom break, but while I'm gone, you guys want to pick whether or not I go into the green caves or the, uh, you know, the, the giant alien Borg cube or Lava Town, because I could go either, but I gotta go pee. <laughs>